Use the referral link in the description to G2A.com for all of your Xbox codes, PlayStation codes and video games and be sure to use the code CHEZ at checkout to get yourself 3% cash back. Hey guys, welcome to episode 3 of season 4 here at Newcastle. We're currently second in the table after a great time of things last time out. Three wins from our opening four games. Frustrated to lose the first game of the season but delighted with the way that the side bounced back. We've got... Three big games today to play. Arsenal, they will play Crystal Palace away. And if you remember the last time we played Palace, that was one hell of a game of football. And then with Juventus at the end of the month, we'll be simulating the three in between Arsenal and Palace with regards to Vienna, Watford and uh, Rotherham in the cup. As of course, to reiterate again, uh, we're doing one month per episode, playing three per video and simulating the rest to ensure that the, uh, the series doesn't drag out. We'll be doing this continually for all my new series with regards to full career mode so you know we keep it condensed action-packed and you guys can stay involved and uh, connected with what's going on in the save and you don't just kind of lose interest halfway through so we're on a fantastic run of form three wins in the league in a row and Don Bele scored a hat-trick on his debut or he's the first time I played with him at least and he's got an upper rating and one player of the month Marcus Rashford is up to 87 Akanji's up to 84 Lozano's up to 86 been a superb start to the year and fingers crossed we can continue that as we proceed to the game against Arsenal today. Do drop the video a like if you enjoy, subscribe to the channel too to make sure you don't miss out on more. There'll be a video, I'm hoping to put a video on Christmas Day letting you know what new series are coming to the channel over the next few weeks. But for now, let's go and concentrate on playing Arsenal, Palace and Juventus. Ben Leno in goal for Arsenal. Mernier holding Rugani and Tagliafico at the back. Mernier right back, not right wing, as he sometimes is when we play Arsenal. Weigel and Torreira holding. Letsari, Mkhitaryan and El Yunusi out wide left with Pierre-Emerick Bamiyang up top. El Yunusi has scored five in his last three games. We know who their main danger man is going to be. Pierre-Emerick Bamiyang. So <laughs> El Yunusi is just going to add to that. Tracks that into Ndombele, across to Philip Max, down the line there to Vinicius Junior, too quick for his own good, had to wait for people to get into the box in support, that will reach Chucky, won't reach Chucky, Tagliafico with the header to put it wide for the corner, Max delivers in, it's a good ball but it's also well headed away by Thomas Mounier, Lozano, in there that gap, Drax up, his Maximilian Philip, good save by Bernd Leno, putting the pressure on Arsenal here in the opening 10 to 15 minutes, but no way through yet, thanks to good defending and top goalkeeping. Now only noose is in behind at the other end. We might be in trouble defensively. Nice ball played inside to Torreira. Mkhitaryan around the corner to Abamiang. Back to Mkhitaryan. Wow. Oh, no, on the follow-up. Wow. Make that six in his last four for El Yunusi. The reactions, the technique. Mkhitaryan unlucky not to have scored with his effort, plays the 1-2 with Aubameyang and smacks it off the post. And then, oh, that is a superbly controlled finish from El Yanusi. Defender stuck his toe in, couldn't get there, and he's just smacked that. Down a narrow window, kept it low, very, very well controlled from El Yanusi. 1-0 Arsenal. And say low. Ball to Maximilian Philip. Chucky's made a run around the outside. Tagliafico is quick though, but so are Chucky and Zhao Cancelo. Cut back. Get the ball in. Oh, what a delivery. What a save. Vinicius Junior very nearly giving us an equaliser, but Bert Leno with a point-blank save. He's come out there. That is... Alisson made a similar save for Liverpool a few games ago where he could have stayed on his line. He didn't. He rushed out and closed the angle, and that was why he was able to make the save. That's exactly what Bert Leno has done there. Corner's come in from Max from this side now. And again, cleared away, but only as far as Chucky, who lets it float towards goal. But sadly, it's a long way from it. Bert Leno comfortably able to pick that up. Tagliafico down the line here as Arsenal look to break on me again. They scored on the counter-attack earlier. Well, they're not going to do it this time, thankfully. But still, we're looking for that equaliser. Quite an entertaining game, this one, so far. Chances at both ends. And we've got a game to chase. For the first time this season. And the new seat into Mkhitaryan through to Aubameyang. We certainly have a game to chase for the first time this season. It's 2-0 Arsenal. They've caught me on the counter-attack twice now. And after half an hour, we find ourselves 2-0 down. 
Lozano. Philip around the corner to Ndombele. Oh, gets away from me. That's Ari. Out there to El Yunusi. Torreira through the gap, looking for Aubameyang, and Lazari can save by All Black. Arsenal nearly put themselves out of sight here. 2-0 down, 35 minutes in, and that was very nearly 3-0. That's going to drop here to Julian Weigel, and El Yunusi tries the flamboyant, but it doesn't come off, thankfully for me. We haven't experienced this yet. We dominated the games that we played. We had a bit of an iffy second half against Manchester City yesterday. But I thought it was an isolated 45-minute performance. Turns out that perhaps that wasn't the case. And that City was showing us a sign of what was to come against other big teams. Draxler. And a corner to Chucky. Rashford's calling for it, so I'll give it to him. You know where to go here. Just play that back. If we can get one back before half-time, that'd be absolutely brilliant. I'll poke that through, trying to find Rashford. Somehow it reaches him. Oh, is that a penalty? I mean, I turned away with the ball there. I want to have a look at a replay of that. I'm sure that I turned away from that challenge. Oh, no, he got there. It's a great tackle. Wow. 2-0 down at half-time with an absolute mountain to climb in the second half. And on Bele into Julian Drax. That quickly to Maximilian Phillip. Shot well blocked. I'm going to try and nod this down, looking for Rashford. Get back there to Julian Draxler, and Dombele's arriving. And Dombele from the edge of the box, good save by Bernd Leno. 20 minutes to go, two goals to score. 50 50 in possession. Oh, he's won the header well there, Jamal Assel, but he's not directed it well. I've quite simply not been good enough in this game. We've had chances, but Leno's been very good in goal, and we haven't taken the other chances we've created for ourselves. Oh. Make a haven't been able to take advantage of mistakes that Arsenal have been making in the back line as well. They haven't been very frequent, but when they do happen like that, I just can't let them get away with it. And we have been letting them get away with it. And that is why we've been caught on the counter twice. And we're 2 0 down here. El Yunusi's goal was spectacularly taken. And the Bamiangs was really nicely tucked away as well. I need to make changes, but I have a funny feeling it's a little bit too little too late right now. Thomas Partey, Tagliafico down the line to El Yanusi. They could finish me off with a third. We'll leave that with Max. Oh, I asked him to leave it. He still went after it. doesn't matter. Final is going to go any moment now anyway. Pulls up back to the edge of the box. There's the ball into the box. Out it goes. And final whistle. A 2-0 defeat at the Emirates. Arsenal do one over on us. They let me attack them, attack them, attack them. And then just pounced twice. And it worked to devastating effect. Unfortunately, it's going to be a defeat there. We shall hope to be better in the next three games between now and the next one we play against Crystal Palace. Right, up next for us is the very first Champions League match day. We've Rapid Vienna, Juventus. And, uh, oh God, my brain is literally just blanked. Rapid Vienna, Juventus and Besiktas in our group. We are playing away here, but Ndombele gives us an immediate 1-0 lead in the sixth minute. I'd like to think that we're strong enough here to get victory. You can see from the lineup, I've made a couple of changes. We've got Philip, oh, sorry, we've got uh, Jan Roth at Cam behind Maximilian Philip. Wan Bissaka is in. Uh, Christopher Wagner is in. Ben Chilwell is in. Uh, Ruben Loftus Cheek is in. Maximilian Philip gives us a 2 0 lead here. Kennedy's in on the left hand side for Vinicius Junior as well to give them a little bit of a rest or just to rotate slightly. But we get a 2 0 win against Rapid Vienna. That is superb. I shall now go and uh, quickly train and then change the team back to its strongest possible lineup for the game against uh, against Watford. And a few of you have been calling for me in the comments to uh, start training Wagner's defensive stats again. So I shall do that uh, right here, right now. There we go. And actually, I'm going to save that as defs and replace the previous one. Like that. So that now we're training Wagner's tackling stats again. Thank you for your feedback. Right, Watford at home next. Back to full strength in the starting lineup. Watford have just won their last three games, as you can see on the right-hand side. 2-0 against Blackburn. Also beat Oxford and uh, Leicester City, I think it was. In there as well. Ndombele scores early again. Proving to be one of the best signings I think we've ever made in any series. Ndombele, Maximilian Phillip picks up another one. Marcus Rashford gets himself sent off, though. Just after half-time. But Julian Draxler gives us a third. It's not what we need from you, Marcus. 
Lozano gives us a fourth. Even though we're down to ten men, we've scored a further two goals to ensure that we get victory here against Watford. What did Marcus Rashford do to earn himself a straight red card? I've absolutely no idea. He's going to be out for one game. Hopefully it's all English competition and he'll be... Yes, it is. Which means he's banned for the game against Rotherham. Which is fine. I'm not worried about that. It means he'll be back for Crystal Palace. Spain have offered me the international management job. No, thank you. We turned down the Bayern Munich manager's job earlier on uh, in the season. But I'm going to rotate heavily now for this game against Rotherham. As you might expect that we might well do in the cup. And hopefully, I say rotate heavily, we're still playing a fairly decent side to be fair. And then we'll go and play Crystal Palace at the weekend. Right, Rotherham in the cup. Van Damme is actually starting in goal. Maximilian Phillips still gets to start as one of the front two, although he's got Toby Mitchell behind him this time rather than Jan Roth. Loftus-Cheek and Kondogby are back for the first time since injury and it's actually Ruben Loftus-Cheek that gives us the 1-0 lead here after 21 minutes. This should, in theory, be a pretty straightforward game, despite the weakened side, or weaker side. I say it's weakened. Will there are any weak spots? It's just weaker than the strongest 11 I could put out. Guerrero gets to start as well at centre-back for the first time this season. And both CDMs, both central midfielders, give us the goals. Jeffrey Kondobia back from injury, back on the score sheet as well. Right, Crystal Palace coming up next. Marcus Rashford is back from injury for that as well, which is absolutely superb. Or back from suspension, even. And we'll have a quick train again do the set of mids this time and then it's time to go and take on Crystal Palace and this one will actually play right, Palace's starting lineup: Loris Karius in goal their new goalkeeper Klosterman, Sacco, Lindelof and Congolo at the back three in midfield of Nabil Bentaleb, Renato Sanchez and Max Meyer with Zaha, Zaza and Acampos as a front three Benteke on the bench Milivojevic on there too Last time we played Palace, it was a seven-goal thriller that saw us win it with a Chucky Lozano goal in, like, the 93rd minute. I'd like for a slightly more straightforward victory this time around. One that doesn't necessarily see my heart rate rise quite so much. Let's live again. Sars half. It's going to get confusing at some point in the game. We're going to trip over that. Oh, no. Renato Sanchez to Wilfred Zaha. Looking for the man in the middle, but Cancelo heads away. Well, a Campos. I think that's a bit speculative, don't you? If that had flown in, then it would have been even better than Andros Townsend's goal at the weekend. Forward to Smyrna Zaza. Don Belli just arrives and then disappears with the football, but Zaza wins it back again. A Campos turns away from me here. Campos. Ah, oh, Lasalle tries to get a toe in. He's quite able to do it. Smyrna Zaza on the attack again here with Palace. Akanzi in the way, but Zaza still gets the better of everybody that he comes up against so far. Bentaleb into the box, he's gone for this shot, but it's straight down the throat of the keeper. It's easy enough for Jan Oblak. Palace definitely the better team so far. Rashford could have won that header and set us up for a decent counter-attack, but unfortunately not able to do it. Now here come Palace again. Now will Bentaleb. Campos is there, Bentaleb going solo. Oh, and Dombele does brilliantly. Right, now we can catch him on the counter. Rashford out to Maximilian Phillip. Support arriving from Chucky Lozano, who will play it through to Marcus Rashford, who has to do the all. Obvious thing, and lay it across the teammate that was waiting. The defender intercepts, cannons it off the bar, and it won't drop for Ndombele, who was waiting there to turn it home. Um, should I? Well, I, I'm not even going to ask the question. I was say, should I play the through ball, not a pass defeat? Evidently, I should. Good save by Carrius there to deny me. And is that a corner or a goal kick? I'm not sure. It's a corner. I can't believe I haven't scored there. I can't believe we haven't scored. Draxa delivers and oh, it's going to drop here to Akanzi on the edge of the box as Crossman is still on the floor. Draxa will try again. That's a terrible attempt at a corner this time around. And they'll clear it away. I don't quite know how to react to that missed opportunity. All I know is I should be 1-0 up right now. Philip into Chucky. It's nice played. Drax is going to... Oh, he looked to push on and he did in the end. And Ndombele's played in. Morris Carriers is proving to be quite the difficult... Oh, goalkeeper to get past. I can't score against him. So now Cancelo will drive forward with this. And I'll play it inside looking for Ndombele. And there's Vinicius. I'll hit it early first time. It might yet drop to Maximilian Philip, but it hasn't. Try to just chase it around here, Philip. It ends up on the floor in a heap. Well, it didn't go my way against Arsenal, and I've been better here against Palace, but it's still 
isn't going into the back of the net for me. Never mind. Ignore what I just said. Maximilian Phillips scores the goal to give Newcastle the 1-0 lead at Selhurst Park. Finally. And he's just through there nicely to Toby Mitchell. Back to Ruben Loftus-Cheek. Toby Mitchell actually made a good run there. And uh, I meant to use him. The ball went to Rashford somehow. And that was meant for Toby. Toby's played in. It's a heavy touch. But it takes him away from the defenders. And he's finished it. We're going to get a bigger margin of victory here than we initially thought we were going to. 2-0. Past the additional two minutes that were supposed to be added on. But we'll take it. When he had that heavy touch, we got played in. This heavy touch there, I thought, oh, God, the chance is gone. But he just beats the defender to it. And he tucks it home. Toby Mitchell having an impact off the bench. In the 90th minute, he makes it 2-0 for Newcastle. We'll get three points. And that will push us further towards the top of the table. Right. The black and white stripes of Newcastle will now go and play the black and white stripes of Juventus. This is probably the biggest game of the entire save so far. Right, Juventus, Mattia Perrin in goal. Nacho involved at the back as well as Jordi Alba, both on yellow cards. We've got black and white stripes of Juventus. Ronaldo playing out wide with Dybala through the middle and Costa wide right. Be interested to see what Cristiano Ronaldo's... Um, Cristiano Ronaldo's rating is actually at this stage in a, in a save. And of course, they're playing Dennis Sicaria there, you saw. Cristiano is 87 rated now, down from 94. So drastically falling off. Paolo Dybala, however, is 93. Wowzers. But of course, as we saw, Dennis Sicaria is starting for them against his former team. And as I mentioned before, not only is it black and white stripes versus black and white stripes of Juve, but Besiktas, who are also in a group, also playing black and white stripes. I don't know what Rapid Vienna's home kit actually looks like. I I'm going to I'm going to have a look now on the fly. Rapid Vienna home kit. They play, no, they're playing green. Okay. I was like if they play black and white stripes as well, then that'd be pretty remarkable. They don't. Right. Newcastle versus Juventus. Dembele. Rashford Philip through the gap there to Marcus Rashford back to Draxler out to Lozano. This could be a really really electric start for us here if if we can score the goal to give us a 1-0 lead. Wow, Maximilian Philip off the top of the bar. Got right behind that and Perrin nowhere near it. Unfortunately, it didn't go in. And Bele, oh, given away into C, picks up possession. But and Bele wins it back again. Douglas Costa. Oh, Vinicius has stolen that back and they've got a man down injured at the minute. That's when you Philip will get this up wide here to Chucky Lozano. And it's 3v3 in the middle. And we'll try and find a teammate. Which we do. Deflected. Oh, and Perrin pounces on it. Decent header from Vinicius. But I don't know whether it would have gone in had it gone all the way through unblocked. The keeper seems to be right behind it. Traxler there into Philip. There's Rashford. Let's go back again. Rashford, wait, wait, wait. Then play Maximilian Philip in. I mean... Surely there is no reason for him to go down there in that manner if he hasn't been tugged. The way that he goes down there, Maximilian Philip, there is no reason at all why he wouldn't shoot there. And what's the what's the manner in which he goes down? He's then, oh, is that a foul? Should that be a should that be a penalty? Does he kick the floor or the defender? That's the question. Let's have a look. Let's do it slow mo. He kicks the defender as he sticks a leg in. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, that's a penalty. Nothing given by the referee. And after 14 minutes, we have a throw-in down here by the corner flag. But should we have had a much more straightforward set piece? With a penalty kick from 12 yards out. Maximilian Philip turns. He'll get his shot away this time. And he still can't find the target. He's been to court. Forward to Dybala. Cristiano's available. Here he is. I presume his technicals are still pretty decent. It's just his physicals that have fallen away. Well, perhaps I should scout him just out of curiosity to have a look. Marcus Rashford played in here in one way than the other. Looking to blame Philip. He'll get it out wide here to Chucky. He's going to need to pull it back to find a teammate. Finds Vinicius. It's the second time Vinicius has had an effort blocked. Drax has got a bit of space. And that space is quickly closed down by the defender. We've been the better team here, certainly, but we haven't yet been able to find ourselves a goal to go in front. Jao Cancelo, of course, playing against his former team as well here. Uh, uh, that fact had escaped me, actually, to this point in the game. Zakaria playing against his former team, and Jao Cancelo doing the same. Dybala out wide to Costa. Here's Dybala again. 
He's going to play the one two. No, they're going to play it around. And Dybala, good save by Oblak. Good header by Emre Chan. Another opportunity. Dybala, Ronaldo, that would be oh, comfortable for the keeper, I was going to say. Let go of the controller almost there because I was so confident the keeper was just going to pick that up. What a save by Jan Oblak. That's why we bought a keeper in of his calibre. Absolutely superb. Certainly should have been 1 0 Juventus there. Dybala would have put your house on him scoring that, especially being 93 rated. Would have put a fair amount of money on him scoring that before he'd even grown at all in the save, let alone now. Davinson Santis is with me here, but we'll lay it off to Draxler. Heron with a save will take the corner. Corner's come in from Julian. There it is. And Benson Core heads away. Max will recover. Taking Max off corners for. The meantime, just seeing if we can actually freshen things up. There's a few corners in a row from Max, just haven't been very good. Maximilian Philip turns well. We'll look for Rashford, who's played in, takes it early. It's a good save by Perrin. It's most certainly a game for the goalkeepers so far, this one. Top saves made by Matea Perrin and Jan Oblak. Of course, Maximilian Philip hit the bar early doors as well. Could have been a number of goals in this game so far, but none at the break. Dybala. Down wide to Ronaldo, early ball in, headed away by Philip Max. Will reach Philip. Oh, it's a terrible attempted pass to get it inside to Rashford. Now we're in a bit of trouble here. Bentan Kaur on his way through, good save by Oblak. It just opened up for Bentan Kaur there. Dybala to take the corner. It's gone short to Douglas Costa. Oh, he's done me there. He's just left me standing. Pulls it back, Ronaldo straight down the throat of the goalkeeper. All right, we started the first half the stronger. They've started the second half the stronger. Philip up against Emre Chan for pace. Somehow Emre Chan wins, but we've kept hold of possession, thankfully. I was in there, and now all of a sudden their entire defensive line is back in position through that gap though to Ndombele. And that wide for oh Chucky Lozano, but Jordi Alba with the mad interception. I can't seem to get the final pass or the final finish in this game against Juventus. I felt that way against Crystal Palace as well, but eventually we ground them down and got the goals. I hope we can do the same here as well. Around the corner there to Douglas Costa. Oh, early ball, headed away by Lascelles, but it will fall to Zakaria. Benton court, forward. Oh, it's really nicely tucked away by Dybala. Squeezes it underneath the goalkeeper. Juventus 1, Newcastle 0. For all of the opportunities we've had, Sakaria, fancy first touch down there, and it's just an obvious ball onto Dybala's left foot. Easy pass, easy finish. Not what we needed. Made a couple of changes, but they're really going to have to turn up now. Loft to Sheik on for Draxler, and Toby Mitchell, who made a goal scoring introduction in the game against Palace. We're hoping for something similar from him here again, if we can. Rashford into him, out wide to Chucky. Never know, we might get Toby Mitchell in for a goal. Oh, but I can't squeeze it across to anyone. So easy for the Juve players to lose Dembele. concentration. Forward, looking for Toby Mitchell, who just switched off for a moment. They brought on Bernadeschi. Douglas Costa. Player, well, both. Oh, Ronaldo. Both players we looked at uh, when looking for a new winger before deciding on Vinicius Junior. Corner for Paolo Dybala to take it. They brought on Koke now for Denis Zakaria. And Dombele brings that down and will look to counter. Although I've got nobody upfield. Literally had no one left forward, I don't think, from that corner. Oh, no, there's Rashford. He must have just been hidden on the minimap behind someone. Toby Mitchell driving into space. Rashford goes one way, then the other. Out to Vinicius. Back to Marcus Rashford. No, it's Ruben Loftus. Cheek! It's blocked. That might be the one chance we were going to get. Ronaldo looking to race through, but Jamal Lassell holds him off, and Cancelo gets that round the corner. In the battle of teammates against former teammates... It's Cancelo that looks like he's going to lose out to Denis Sicaria here. See Chucky at the back post. See Vinicius there too. It's Ndombele even. It's going to drop to Ruben off his cheek. This time he gets the shot off. This time with no one in the way. Great goal. Ruben loftus cheek is going to give us a draw and a point in the group stage of the Champions League against Juventus. In the battle of the black and white stripes, no one's going to come out on top. Good first touch and wow. Keeper saw it late because of all the bodies in front of him and he's picked up the top corner brilliantly. Oh, top quality finish from a top quality player in what has been a game, an episode really, played at the highest quality.
We've played some really nice stuff, created some good opportunities. Weren't able to take as many as I might have liked, but we still, quite away, still come away with victories in two of the three games that I played. was disappointed with the defeat against Arsenal, to be completely honest, but I dominated that game. And I felt like we deserved uh, at least a point if we'd have lost. I really would have felt hard done by Atletico beat Inter by four goals to nil. It's an absolute turn up for the books. We've Manchester United next, who are fourth in the table. As you can see, we are currently third. Liverpool, though, seven wins from seven games to this point in the season. They are having a superb time of things. Marcus Rashford is out for two weeks with a training injury. Wonderful. That's exactly what I needed to hear right now. That's frustrating. We still have a squad report, though, as we are the first episode outside of a transfer window. We haven't had one so far uh, this fourth season. So we'll have a look and see how everyone's growing. I don't think we've had too much issue with the overall ratings now that we're in a new season. But we'll have a look and see how everyone's doing, attribute-wise and stat-wise. Van Damme's up 2 to 73 now, which is really, really good. He's just growing of his own accord. He's been absolutely brilliant. Jan Black has been a good signing. I'm really pleased with him, to be honest. I haven't been the best defensively, which hasn't led to him keeping too many clean sheets, but we're still doing well in the league. Wan Bissaka's up 1 to 80, which is great. Sao Cancelo up 1 to 86, which is also very pleasing. New signing growing well. Summer Guerrero also up 1, although again, we're training him. Christopher Wagner up 1 to 80 as well. We're back training his tackling stats as well now via the uh, training feature. Manuel Akanji up 1 to 84. So 89 short passing for Akanji. I forgot it was that good. Tamala Sell, no growth from him, but no decline either. Similarly for Ben Chilwell. Philip Max, nothing for him as well. Toby Mitchell's up 1 to 80. That's good news. 99 ball control for him now. Outstanding. Five-star week for five-star skills, of course. Simone Bruno continuing to grow really well. Up to 74 rated now. It's just the physicals that don't grow anywhere near quick enough for the youngsters. Well, they don't start off high enough for a number of youngsters outside of CDMs or centre-backs. They're just not really there. Elliot Phillips growing nicely. Up one as well. And Dombele at 1 to 87 since we signed him. And he's got five goals in nine games and one assist. Really pleased with Tangi and Dombele. Really taking me by surprise he's been that good. Julian Drax, that 86 rated, still no growth from him. Similarly for Ruben Loftus Cheek. Uh, Jeffrey Kondobia back from injury now, not in the starting lineup, mainly because Dombele has been outrageous. Uh, Luis Mendoza at 1 to 74. Simone, I keep calling him Simone Vega. Sergio Vega up 1 to 78, growing nicely. Declan Jackson, 69 rated, up 1. Great growth, technically, actually, from him. Zimmerman, no growth. Kennedy, no growth, but no decline either. Jan Roth up 1 to 75, which is good. Timo Kuhn also growing. Berm up 2 to 78. Nice to see his physicals continue to grow. His technicals growing really well indeed. Chucky Lozano up 1 to 86. And he's got two goals so far this season more from Chucky, although it was the end of last season where he really came good, so maybe he'll do the same this year. Maximilian Philip, 82 rated, no increase or decline in his stats, but four goals, well, three and seven in the Premier League, nothing in pre-season in the five games, but uh, he's doing all right in competitive play. Vinicius is up one to 86 now. He's got one goal and two assists in eight games. Marcus Rashford is up one to 87. He's got four in 13, although Three came in pre-season. It's only one goal, two assists in the Premier League. We certainly need to be getting some more goals from him up top. Brandon Cook's growing nicely enough there as well. I'm pleased enough with how things are going so far. But there's certainly room for improvement. And we're going to need him. Wow, Liverpool have played seven games and only conceded one goal. But scored 16. What a start to the season. Arsenal and Manchester United and Everton are all still undefeated. We'll hope to end Manchester United's undefeated streak in tomorrow's episode. But busy month in October. Very busy month. We've got Wolves twice as well, but we'll have to wait and see how we get on. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel to make sure you don't miss out on more. Hit that notification bell so you know when videos go live. I'll see you next time.